cops now have targets on their back, and what can we do to keep them safe? Here to weigh in is the president of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association, Sergeant Ed Mullins. Ed, five years ago, if I told you would be in this situation, what would you have said to me? Impossible. Never would have thought it would happen. How did it happen? It, it happened as a result of a failure of leadership and an atmosphere of enabling um, the 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 naysayers of the world to become the majority voice of a nation. This is your quote from over the weekend. It's your failed policy. This is your to the mayor. It's your failed policies and action that enabled this tragedy to occur. Mayor de Blasio, the blood of these officers is clearly on your hands. Yep, that's correct. I said that. What, was, it, was it one press conference? Was it the way he ran his campaign? It, it's, it's an atmosphere of enabling. It's, it, it's little things that mean a lot. And if you just look back at the past six months that have occurred in this country, um, this has been allowed to grow and grow and grow. And the end result now is two dead police officers. Um, there's a silent majority in this country that have sat silent this whole time and have allowed the naysayers to continue um, with this random anti-cop rhetoric. And this silent majority is failing to see the value of the police and how it affects their lives. So you want the local store owners to stand up. You want the bus drivers to stand up and let them know that you're depending on the cops and you respect the cops. They, they have to stand up. All we see is video of what the cops do. We don't see the videos coming in of what the criminals are doing. Just this morning I saw on the news an elderly black woman placing a flower as, at the memorial site of where these two officers were killed. Who speaks for her? She has taken the time to go out to support these, these two officers. Who is speaking for her right now? So how long are you going to take it? What is the point of action? I saw some, uh, some uh, emails go back and forth over the weekend telling the cops to essentially stand back. If we're not going to get any backing from our police commissioner or our mayor. We're not going to put ourselves on the line. Could that happen, a stand down? Brian, right now the police department is broken. The people in the city of New York are, are really um, in a bad situation where the police department doesn't feel that we have their support and ultimately we're a lifeline to the rest of the city. Right now the most important thing facing this NYPD is the burial of these two office, offices and the support to their families and the outpouring of support to these families um, can be a turning point of where things go into the future. And you brought up a good point in the green room. You said anybody who doesn't think this assailant went to kill an NYPD guy, he went three hours on a bus and there was a lot of cops between there. He came to do this because of... Because, because of... Could. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much, Ed. Thank I know you. it's an emotional yeah. time for you, but Thank I appreciate you, you coming in out front and, uh, you. and fighting for the officers.